action what is up travels with buddy nation on the travels with buddy station today is saturday may 6th beautiful day today it was awesome weather um went out took buddy for a walk today where i was outside mostly all day mowing my grass and taking buddy for a walk and we had an awesome day huh bud so if um, tonight we're going to do a, a, a kundalini yoga video. I was, it's going to be a very low impact light exercise because I was out er, come here, bud, working all day, working in my yard. Then I took Buddy on a on a hike and Buddy did some walking. He, he got some exercise on, but so I'm not going to, I'm not, uh, I don't have the energy to do like a, a high impact kind of exercise. So I'm going to do some low impact uh low stress uh, kundalini exercises that will help me relax and stretch uh, my body and my muscles and rejuvenate my my energy hopefully uh, it'll uh, i will have doing these exercises will increase my energy level rather than take and en uh, take energy from more energy from my body right bud and buddy had an awesome day today too, but I didn't make him suffer yet. So we're going to do a quick video and we're going to do some exercises and then I'll make Bud his suffer. Right, Bud? So without further ado, I will demonstrate those exercises. The first one I'm going to do is going to, it's going to be a bridge exercise. Really good to stretch the back and work the, the hamstrings and the, the hips. And then I'm going to do a uh, uh, a side twist exercise really good. I'm going to use the breath of fire when I do that exercise Awesome stretch for for the neck the shoulders the back and the hips and then uh, I'll follow that up with um, With another shoulder exercise for the upper back I'll be doing that off the floor and these exercises are great You don't need any special equipment and they work awesome. And I don't even have my yoga mat down um, but so without further ado, I will demonstrate those exercises and bud, I'll put you in the other room while I do the exercises and then when we get done, I'll make your supper. Alright? And bud's pretty chill too. He walked for about three miles today, huh bud? He did a good walk today. <laughs> so he's, he's pretty, um, he's pretty calm because he got a good workout. He got, he got some exercise in today and I noticed when I walk him he's a better dog like if he doesn't go out for a few days he gets grumpy if I don't take him for a walk for a few days he gets grumpy he's irritable and he's barking and you can tell even animals need their exercise huh bud so without further ado I will demonstrate those exercises and bud you can See, I don't even have my my towel. All right, but I will start. You want to sit up on the floor, legs crossed, and I will start with uh, the mantra. I'll take three deep breaths in through the nose, out through the mouth. Press my palms together. Um, namu Guru Day Namu Um Namu Guru Day Namu Doing some Sufi grinds, but I 
I don't want to waste too much time demonstrating this exercise because I demonstrated it so many times on this these videos before. <clears throat> but this is a good exercise to warm up with. And most of the these routines that I do. And basically, as you know, if you've been following these videos, you want to start maybe uh, either clockwise or counterclockwise for a minute, then stop, and then go in the opposite direction for about a minute. And I get a really nice stretch in my back, shoulders, hips. And you want to inhale and exhale fully during the exercise. So the first exercise I'm going to do is the, called the bridge. And this exercise is due for about a minute or so. Basically, you want to start with your knees bent, your feet flat on the floor. I usually put my palms on the floor and I just basically, as I lift my hips up off the floor, I exhale and I bring my, try to bring my hips up as high as I comfortably can. And then as I bring my hips back down to the, towards the floor, I inhale. All right, I think that was about a minute or so. Felt really nice stretch in my lower back and work my hips a little bit, my glutes. Next exercise is gonna be like a side twist. Really good exercise. This exercise, you wanna clasp your hands together, bring them behind your head. <clears throat> Try to keep your elbows on the floor or as close to the floor as you, as you comfortably can. I'm gonna start off with my left leg I'm gonna put my left leg over my, my right knee, and then I'm gonna bring my, my right knee as close to the floor as I comfortably can. And at the same time, I'm gonna turn my head till it's facing my left elbow. And this exercise here, you get a really nice stretch on your neck, your shoulders, your hips, your back. This is an excellent, excellent stretch. I'm going to do the breath of fire at the same time. I'm going to hold this for about, for about a minute. Very important to breathe during this exercise.
All right. I think that was about a minute or so with that exercise. It felt so good to just to be in that position and breathing, doing the breath of fire. I, I can I felt like I could have did that exercise for for an hour. <laughs> it felt really good. A tremendous amount of release of energy. Feel really good. And the breath of fire. Remember, you want to breathe in and out um, rapidly, and I usually breathe in and out through my nose. And uh, next, I will. Just switch to the other side. Um, put my next will be my right leg over my my left knee, and then bring my left knee to my right side. Turn my head facing my my right elbow, and again I'll do do the breath of fire, and I'll do this for about a minute. That was about a minute. Right. Again, that felt really great. Felt a nice stretch all throughout my entire body, including my neck, because you want to turn your head facing your opposite elbow. Feels really good. Next exercise I'm going to do, I'm going to clasp my hands together, my palms together. And with this exercise, I'm going to press my palms together. I'm going to put a little bit of tension on my arms. So in other words, with my I'm going to be pushing my arms like, like into each other, and my hands into each other. So what that's going to do is going to activate my, my, my pectoral muscles and my deltoid muscles. I'm not going to squeeze too hard, but just, just give it a little bit, little bit of tension in there. And you'll feel your muscles working as you, as you're pressing your palms together. And basically keep my way flat on the floor with my knees bent and, and my, my feet flat on the, on the floor. I'm going to bring my hands behind my head and I'm going to, I'm going to inhale. Actually, I might want to bring my body forward a little bit because I'm just bumping my hands into something. Um, so you want to put your palms together and bring your hands behind your head so they're touching the floor. And as you're coming up, inhale. Exhale as you go and bring your arms back down. This is a really good exercise. And do this for about a minute.
All right, I think that was the bottom in it. Again, that exercise felt really good. I almost didn't feel like didn't want to stop. <laughs> All right, and I felt nice. It, felt, it was working my, my chest muscles, my shoulder muscles at the same time. It was, I was feeling a nice stretch in my, the back of my shoulders and my upper back. Next exercise, I'm going to use the breath of fire on this exercise. I'm going to do like a quarter rep crunch. So this is like a crunch, but I'm going to be doing like a quarter rep. And I'm going to bring my my palms as close to my knees as I, as I can comfortably bring them. And I'm going to do the breath of fire. I'm just going to rock forward and, and flex my abdominals. And then, and then I'm going to crunch back towards the floor, but I'm not going to bring my body all the way back down to the floor. I'm just going to do quarter rep repetition crunches as I'm doing the breath of fire. And remember, remember the breath of fire is inhale and exhale, usually through your nostrils. And it's, it's not a full deep breath. It's, it's a kind of a, a, a quick, rapid, shallow breath. And it's called the rat, uh, breath of fire. So, so I'm going to crunch forward and touch my knees and crunch back about a quarter of a rep and I'm, as I'm doing the breath of fire. And I'm going to do this for about a minute or so. So come along with me. And that felt great, felt a nice stretch in my back and also worked my, my abdominal muscles very well. Just using that quarter repetition, going at a rapid pace in a quarter repetition, inhaling and exhaling through my, my nose using the breath of fire, very good exercise. And remember, if, you, if it's, it's something that you can't do for a full minute or even just do it for how long, you, you, you can do it comfortably and it, if you if, if it starts hurting or whatever then just stop um, or, or if you get tired then just stop eventually the more you practice doing the exercises the longer you'll be able to do them I did that I think that for about a minute it might have been less because I wasn't really I don't know how long it was but I think it was close to a minute and, I, and again I felt a nice burn in my stomach I don't think I could have done that one for two minutes it's a good exercise I'm gonna do one more exercise and basically, and I'll do is, um, basically this is basically I'm going to shake my arms out. It, it seems like a very simple exercise, but uh, this exercise you release a lot of energy. It, it's more effective than it looks because I've seen this exercise done many times and I'm thinking, oh, it's not a very effective exercise, but it really is. You want to tuck your stomach in, bring your chest out and you want to bring your your elbows, your upper arms, they're about parallel to the floor. And you just want to shake your, your hands and do this for about a minute. You don't necessarily have to do the breath of fire with this one, this one but breathe in and out through your nose and mouth and fully deep breath. So you're inhaling and exhaling um, completely through your abdominals. And, hold, and do this for about a minute. Try to keep your arms. Try to keep your upper arms till they're till they're at, uh, parallel to the floor. Feel a nice burn in your shoulders, arms, and continue taking deep breaths while you're doing this exercise.
All right, I did that for about a minute, and I'll tell you, I'll go back to doing that a little bit more after this video. I just don't want to bore the audience. But that exercise is more effective than it looks. I feel a ton of energy in my arms, my shoulders, my abdominals. And make sure you're breathing properly when you're doing that exercise. And you'll feel a, a tremendous release of energy all throughout your upper body with that very simple exercise. Try it for about one to three minutes. It's a really good exercise. you got to give it a try. And remember, if you like these videos, make sure you subscribe to Travels with Buddy. Remember, keep training, keep taking those walks, and have an awesome day. All right, everybody. Peace out.